All right, guys. I want to show you how I uh, turned my NICAD uh, drill battery pack into a uh, lithium polymer battery pack. Um, what I did was the batteries are pretty much free. I just took uh, some laptop batteries apart, and uh, there was a few dead cells in them, but most of them were just all right. They're perfectly fine. So what I did was I stuck five of them together uh, in series. See how I got them wired positive to negative. And then, you know, not in parallel. Not like positive to positive and negative to negative. So. so you put it in series and you get 18 volts uh, with five cells. And it's, this, that's what this uh, battery pack was, an 18 volt. Uh, I could have put six in there and got it to, I think, uh, 24 volts or something. But... Um, these are the NICAD packs. Uh, these are not wired in to these lithium ion batteries. These are just simply in there to hold the pins in here. So, and what you want to do with these batteries is uh, see how some of them are not wrapped very good. So, rewrap them in some electrical tape. Or some shrink tube, or you know whatever you got, and make sure none of them touch. And then I put some hot glue in the bottom of this tray and stuck them down in there. You can also on the positive uh, on the positive line take a uh, I don't know maybe a three or four amp fuse or something in line uh, just in case something were to short out, uh, maybe in the drill or you know whatever it would pop the fuse and the batteries will not overheat and blow up so. Oh, and here's the uh, other NICAD pack. As you can tell, one of them blew up in there in the middle. That's why I wasn't holding the charge very good. I also took the, uh, the standard NICAD charger, bypassed all the circuitry in it, and hardwired it in to the plug. And that will allow me to use my um, LiPo balance charger. Uh, this thing will charge any battery too, it's really nice, uh, most batteries anyway. Uh, lithium polymer, lithium ion, 1 to 6 cells, NICAD, you know, MH, uh, PB which is lead acid batteries. So this is a really nice charger, I like it. I think this is the Chinese knockoff, but I tested it with my meter and it works just fine. It doesn't overcharge or, <laughs> or anything, so anyway. Um, yeah, let's put this back on. There. So, we can just set this in the charger like normal. And I put a quick connector on here. So that I can just easily, you know, disconnect. I should have used some shrink tube and did that, but that's just fine. I uh, set it for 0.3 amps because this charger over here only has a one amp output. So I suggest if you get one of these, um, make sure you get the charger with it too. Either that or uh, find a charger with a five amp output because your charger will blow up if you uh, overheat it. If you try to pull too many amps from it, um, and with 0 0.3, 3 mil, 300 milliamps going into this big ass battery, uh, it's going to take a very long time. So I'm going to have to get a new charger. So anyway, just start it, confirm, and there it is. It's going to charge. So. Pretty cool. And if you wired it all in right, I mean, it, it just should work. I gotta put that cover back on. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. These batteries, I think, are about, I don't know, maybe three quarters of the way charged.
Yeah, it's got some torque too to it. <laughs> so, if you got any spare uh, laptops laying around with bad batteries in them, tear them apart. Grab the lithium ion batteries out of them. Now, these batteries are dangerous if you uh, don't know how to, you know, charge them. Do not charge these with any other kind of charger except for a charger that's made to charge these things because they will blow up. So, and they probably catch your house on fire. And don't ever charge these guys uh, and then leave the house. And always disconnect them because you never know what might may happen with these things. And especially their unprotected cells inside of laptops. But just as long as you put maybe a fuse in this battery pack and a, um, get a nice charger, you should not have any problems with them. So, yeah, I think that's really about it. Yeah. So there you guys go. Also, never discharge these batteries below 3 volts per cell, because the batteries start taking damage after that. And so this is a 18 volt uh, battery pack, and it will charge up to 20.5 uh, when it's done. Um, but it's 5 cells in here, so never discharge it below 15 volts. Uh, every once in a while you might want to check it with a multimeter if you're using the drill heavily. Uh, either that or you can um, get one of these voltmeters. You don't have to get the one with the amp ampers in it either. Just get the one with just the volts. And you can cut you a hole and uh, mount it right on there with a little push button switch. You just push and it'll show you the volts. And uh, this way you, you won't ruin the battery by going below 15 or you know 3 volts per cell. And also, if um, the battery starts getting really hot, if you're using the drill heavily, uh, let it cool down. Just like any normal battery pack. I mean, I think they, they say that for the NICAD packs, too. So, but yeah, there you go.